Hello and welcome to a game between Moon and Ace. Moon will be the red Zerg at the upper left, and Ace will be the blue Protoss at the lower right. This is GG Face. This game is going to be the first of many games in the IEM World Championship taking place in Germany of 2011. And the extractor is going to go down first, and the spawning pool is going to come right after. Ace is already inside the base of Moon. He did scout directly after the pylon. He actually scouted the lower left first, but he is now going to be inside the base of his opponent. And meanwhile, in his own base, he will be opening up with a gateway on this map. And this is a really great matchup. Two absolutely wonderful players. Their APM is really high, their thought process really fast, and the way they click is just absolutely astounding for many, many girls and guys. And Ace is still inside the base, and he is going to keep on harassing. He likes his shield, and his shield replenishes, and his shield likes him as well. And Ace is going to haul ass out of there, as I think he really wants to get more and more scouting information, as he will be opening up the cyber core in his own base. At this moment, Moon does not actually know where Ace is. He has not yet found him on the map, and that is some nice harassment from Ace. I think he really wants to find out if his opponent is going to take off drones off of the gas, and maybe if he, his opponent is going to go for a fast expand or a second gas. That's what he is fishing for, and once he finds that out, he is going to hightail it out of there. Metabolic boost is being researched. Meanwhile, Cyber Core is about to be complete and the second simulator is going to be open and it appears that this probe is very very brave today and he is going to stick around possibly deny the natural expansion that is going to not go up at this moment. Metabolic boost is about to be done as soon as that metabolic boost is done. The probe will go down there it goes the nice injection by the queen and the probe is hauling ass back to the base. Meanwhile inside the base there is going to be one stalker and the first zealot is out but the first zealot is not actually at the choke point. Ooh now he's getting to the choke point that would have been a really bad mistake and he will be able to get inside with just 5 HP that is unbelievable timing on the part of Ace and Ace will be opening up with the Twilight Council meanwhile in the land of the moon or the Zerg player he is going to grab his expansion and he will put back one drone on that gas as gas is very precious not only in real life but also in Starcraft 2 as it is super expensive and you need it to run cars Zerglings and also stalkers and Zerglings running up the ramp, there is one Zealot right over there, we'll be able to deny it. And uh, Hatchery is going to go up unharmed at this moment, as there will be Twilight Council, and there's two additional gateways going up at this moment. And there are no more pros being built at this moment. Chrono Boost is being spent on the Cyber Core for the Warp Gate technology, and the First Stalker is out. We'll be able to deter some of those Zerglings from getting too much scouting information, even though they can't really get into the base. And this drone is really early. He will have to leave the party as he is not going to get any drinks there and <laughs> denied once again. As more and more drones are going to pop, I mean Zerglings, and Blink is currently being chrono boosted at this moment as Ace is going to make a lot of stalkers. This stalker is trying to deny the scout from this overlord, but as we can see here, the overlord has not yet found the two gateways that are right next to it, so this is a good deny by Ace as Moon is going to come across with some Zerglings. Blink is about to be complete and I suppose as soon as that's complete we might see an attack of some sorts. Unit composition at this time, 18 Zerglings versus 6 Stalkers and I think that's a really really good composition against Stalkers because the Protoss player Ace only has one Zealot and he is moving with a massive amount of Stalkers at this moment. There is also a Pylon, sneaky little Pylon over here and a sneaky Pylon over here. These two Pylons will help Ace reinforce much quicker and if we take a look at the vision of Moon he does not actually see this Pylon or this Pylon so that is somewhat advantageous for Ace and Ace is coming in. He does have Blink and he is going to run into a pack of Zerglings. Zerglings not the friend of Stalkers as Stalkers are trying to micro away and do some damage but he really needs some Zealots more and more Zerglings are coming out on the field, which is exactly what Moon needs, and Ace is in trouble here. He is trying to run back to some Zealots, and those Zealots don't spawn fast enough, and these Stalkers are going to die. Yunus Lost have showing a heavy loss, heavy toll for Ace, as Ace was not able to micro away from those Zerglings. I mean, no matter how good your APM is, you're just not really going to win against a whole bunch of Zerglings with a handful of Stalkers. And the income tab is going to show the Zerg player is ahead at this moment as Chrono Boost is being spent. He is going to be quite ahead as he only has one gas and he is going to be getting lots and lots of drones and lots and lots of minerals. 
There is a total of only three warp gates at this moment, along with one Twilight Council, and there is going to be, I feel like, some sort of a panic for Ace, as Ace is going to need to defend a lot of attacks, and his opponent is already on two base, whereas he went for a very unsuccessful attack, and now he is in a defensive position. A lot of sentries are being warped, and this is really good for force fields, but however, he really needs some sort of a bigger army. As you can see here from the army size, it is 40 versus 60. Advantage for the Zerg player, and more and more units are going to come over to the side and break down those set of destructible rocks. I think we can tell here Moon's APM is dropping. He is a little bit more calm. He is thinking about what his opponent may be doing, and I think he is doing more thinking and more soul searching at this point rather than actually playing the game because he knows he has such a good advantage. And there is going to be the set of destructible rocks going down. A lot more drones coming out. Unit counting station will show that there is 41 drones and 29, 30 probes at this moment and there's absolutely no offensive units being produced by Ace at this moment as we can see the army for Moon A is going to get bigger and bigger and Moon will also spot this Nexus at the same time with that Overlord and this set of destructible rocks are going to go down as he's probably thinking about taking his gold expansion as well. Aspire is about to start and there is going to be an additional pylon. Ace is thinking about what he needs to do, and he is going to open up with double assimilators there. And ooh, his opponent is actually going to grab this gold expansion, and he can also grab this one if he so wishes. But I think he is pretty happy with his massive amount of zerglings. He has nothing but zerglings at this moment. No anti-air except for two queens, and I mean, I guess that's what Ace is going to go for. He is going to go air, and I think... Boon will have to scout this if he wants to be able to deal with it in time. He does not want two Stargates to go unchecked with the insane amount of Chrono Boost. And there is a lot of drones here. That is just the right amount of drones. And that is a lot more drones in the base. But of course he probably wants to move those drones to his new expansion. Ace is going to be moving some probes over and ooh there it goes there goes the overlord will not be sacrificed will be able to find the stargate and he will probably be sacrificed now as they do blink forward but that is more than enough he wanted to see what's inside his base and he was able to see inside of ace and there is going to be the spire with the pl first plus one upgrade for the air attacks along with the hatchery this is going to be one incredible macro game for moon as ace is pretty far behind as he will be building the phoenixes from two bases but of course we have seen him come back and make some really really impressive moves we'll see if that's possible uh, even though his opponent moon will be opening up with the fourth base income differential is quite significant that is about 50 or so percent more than his opponent ace and his macro is only going to get greater and greater as he does have full map control unit counting station will show it's going to be 72 versus 103 and there is one zergling sitting very very pretty outside the base of ace as ace might be thinking about moving out as he does have some phoenixes i'm not sure how much phoenixes can do against the ground army of his opponent i mean even if he were to win the entire air fight what would he do with those phoenixes because hatcheries aren't floating units as far as i know and ace is going to not go out he did destroy his own pylon there that is what that little crystal over there is all about and the zerling comes in we'll be able to see that there is going to be four phoenixes and he will probably suspect those phoenixes are not going to be hallucinations as the second zerling is going to come around set of phoenixes flying and will encounter a corruptor and will promptly leave corruptors do do significant damage Ace is going to move out here as he's moving out. The army size is going to be 89 versus 136. This is not going to look pretty for Ace as he is marching toward the middle. The Zergling has full view of his units and he is still going to push forward regardless. Phoenix is flying about unit counting station. will show that there's a total of 9 Phoenixes. 9 Phoenixes, 3 Stalkers, and 6 Sentries. This is a really rather small force compared to the immense force of his opponent. His opponent does have a lot of Zerglings and a lot of Hydras.
he will make really, really quick work of his opponent once he gets us around. And I think Moon is going to defend here as Ace is stuck in a hole. Ace is making only one more stalker as he does not have as much income as his opponent. It feels like he is going to go for attack here and he is going inside. Some Hydra is being picked up at this moment, but the Phoenixes are falling really, really fast as the stalkers are trying to blink back and some nice placement of those force fields there, but it will not be enough and he is going to lose all of his forces forcing him to gg that was an interesting game hope you guys enjoyed it game two will be coming up next see you guys there if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe